Hi everyone, trash all out of wing well, So we're going to be working on our routes for our API. Now, if you go to the routes folder, you will see that we have an API.php file, or auth files, channel, channels, console, and web. If you're normally working with Laravel, you will know that you normally put all your routes in a web.php. Now, for anyone that's new, the auth.php, this one right here, is basically all the routes for the authentication. So that is done with Laravel Breeze. Okay. So let's quickly go to our API.php. By default, Laravel will put a middleware in there of auth sanctum. All right. Now, what we want to do is we want to still use that auth that basically that middleware but we're not going to use this route right here but before we get working on this there's a couple of things i just want to explain so if we go to our app folder under providers route service provider right here you will go down you'll see the constant home you go to the boot method right here then you will see the two routes you will see the web one the one that i've just showed you guys right now the other one is for the api now, by default, this is basically what the route will look like. So if we put any routes in here, in our API route right here, all of them is going to have a prefix of API like this. So there's where the prefix is coming from. Now, what I want to do is we want to do versioning. All right, so version control. So we want to do version one. Right now, you can do it from this route file right here. You can do it from here or you can do it from here. But what I want to do, I'm going to do all of that version control in my API.php. But since this is a learning channel, I just kind of kind of show you some extra things as well. So what you can do, you can do version one and then you can create a different file like in your routes file called API v1. So you don't have to do this. So then you can basically do a version control like this and when you do version 2 you can obviously rename this version 2 and that version 2 you can it's totally up to you but i'm not going to do any of my versioning in here i'm just going to return the one as is then i'm going to do the version control in my api all right so let's quickly do that let me just copy this all right so if we go into our route group i'm just going to delete this we're going to create that route okay so let's quickly create a route group and this one is going to have a prefix and now this is going to where the version control comes in so we're going to put the v1 and then we're just going to create a method a function and every route in here is basically going to have a route looking like this badger.tes v1 and whatever resource we want to expose to the front end in this case it will be articles or author all right, so another thing that I want to add in here, that's for our prefix. Another one is obviously the middleware. Now the middleware, I want to add the auth sanctum middleware. Now the thing about this is anyone trying to access this route needs to have verifiable tokens from what they created. All right, so let's quickly create our first one. Now this one is for the articles. Uh, right now this is quite easy since i'm not going to create all the individual rounds so let's quickly open our article controller not the collection all right in here we've got our index we've got the store show update and destroy now i don't want to basically create those all those rounds i just want to make it easy for myself so in order to do that we can just use the api resource and then we can just say forward slash articles and then we obviously just reference the controller. So article controller class like this. And that's it. So all done with the articles. Now let's quickly create our route list. Let me just show you the route list. So as you can see, it creates those routes. It creates the it creates the route for the index, a route for the store, show, update, and destroy. All right. And if the route model binds them like this. But by default, it uses the ID, but I will use another hack, not really a hack, a bind, to be able to either get the article with the ID or with the slug. Okay, so let's quickly go down here. It's another route that I want to create, and this one is for the author. Okay, so if we just, let me just quickly open up our author resource. 
uh, let's use the article resource. So as you can see, in author resource right here. As you can see, the route we are meant by referencing the authors right here. Okay, so we need to create that route as well. So in the article resource, you see the article dot show is using either the ID or the slug. So we're just going to create a bind for that in a second. So let's quickly go in here. This one is for the authors. So let's do a route, and this is going to be a get route. And this is going to go to forward slash authors. And then we're just going to bind basically the user ID to that. And then we just want to get the author controller. All right. A clause like this. And then we're just going to go to the show method. And then the name is basically authors like that. All right, so let's quickly open our route list again. So as you can see, all the articles are there and the route for that. So as you can see, all the URIs, the URL is API forward slash V1 articles. Okay, so awesome stuff. So let's close this off. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to be able to, if anyone access the article route to show, so let me just open this again. All right, so if they accessing this show route right here, they need can either pass the ID or the slug. Now, in order to do that, we can open basically our route service provider. All right, so in here, what I want to do is I want to do a route. Let me just put a message in here. So get articles either by ID or slug like this. Now, what I want to do is I want to say a route and then we just want to call a bind. Okay. So, what I want to do, I want to bind basically the article. Okay. And then I want to create the method. And then we're going to pass in a value. Now, the value can either be the ID or it can be the slug. All right. So, let's start off with the first one. We're going to return. Less. We're just a full names path to basically the article. All right. And we're going to check the article where the ID is equal to the value that we're passing through. Or, let me just go to the second line, or where the slug is equal to that value. And then we just want to say get the first one or Okay, just like that. All right, so if it doesn't find, I want it to fail. Okay, so we need to either return the ID where that value is of that slug uh, of the article and, or where the slug is equal to that article. All right, so that's basically what we bind in our route service provider file. That's what we want to do right there. So let's go back. So basically, an API resource will create all those routes that we needed for article controller and this one right here. So that brings us to an end of this episode, guys. If you give like this, please give it a thumbs up. So what I want to do in the next episode, I just want to give a rough overview of Postman because that's the one I'm going to use. You can obviously use Insomnia or Thunder Client for VS Code extension right here to do that but i'm going to work with postman to test our api then after that we're going to work with our article controller to basically return the relevant resources and work with it all right so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one